Hello and welcome to Riches and Wizards Confessions channel. Today's confession is from a young lady. She's complaining about her young child. Apparently her child is putting her life in danger every single day. It reads as follows. Hi, please kindly make me anonymous. I am a young mother of a five-year-old daughter. My daughter attracts trouble wherever she goes. I'm starting to think that maybe it's witchcraft because this cannot be normal. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. My daughter and I moves around a lot renting because in each and every place that we rent at, our lives end up in danger. It started four years ago, but it wasn't that hectic because she was just a baby. But every single night at around 2 a.m., my baby would cry so much. And every time she starts crying, I would hear footsteps outside like somebody is running away. Sometimes I'd find my baby just smiling all by herself and looking at the window. When I look at the window, I would see somebody just standing there. And as soon as the person sees that I've seen them, you'd hear the person running away, the footprints, of course. At that time, my daughter must have been one or two. As soon as she started talking and walking, it became worse. By the way, I forgot to mention that every time I'd notice something weird happening, such as somebody peeking through or somebody just running when my daughter starts crying, then I would move. I did this for both our safety. Little did I know that we will always be followed around. So, when my daughter started walking and talking a bit at five, it became very, very, very intense. I work as a cleaner for some company I won't mention, obviously. But the company, we also get to work night shifts and stuff. When I'm working night shifts, I take my daughter home to stay with my mother for the night. And when I come back, I pick up my daughter. The reason why I moved from home is because my mother is married to my stepfather. And my stepfather and I don't get along. Anyway, when I am home, some days I wake up around 5 a.m. to go to work. When I come back from home, I'm already way too tired. When I'm tired like that, I just fall asleep and pass out. Sometimes I'm woken up by my daughter in the middle of the night because she wants to watch TV. I would just wake up and switch on the TV for her and then go back to sleep. When I am sleeping, I would hear things scratching on the window. But I would get something like a sleep paralysis. I want to open my eyes, but I cannot. I want to move, but I cannot. But what I know is, whenever I say in Jesus' name in my sleep paralysis, I'm able to at least open my eyes. Every time when I do that, I see my daughter standing by the window with a weird person outside. When it got intense to, to an extent that I decided that my life is in danger and I'm no longer safe, it was the last day and the last stroke. I decided to take my daughter to the Sangoma after the incident. I was sleeping and I started getting this sleep paralysis. This was after my daughter woke me up in the middle of the night and wanted to watch TV. Somehow, I never say no to her watching TV in the middle of the night, although I know it might be putting us in danger because something weird is bound to happen. I, I fell asleep after I switched on the TV for her. I saw my daughter talking to somebody by the window. It's a one room, so the bed is at another corner and the window is at another end. The window is not too far from the door, so whoever is standing at the window is busy telling my daughter to give him the keys at the back of the door. He is ordering my daughter to take the keys and give it to him. 
Luckily, the door handle was much higher for my daughter to reach. So my daughter tried to reach for the keys, but she couldn't. She tried stepping on pillows so that she could at least reach the keys, but she could not. Next thing I know, the person is outside at the door trying to open the door. The person is forcing the door and the person now seems aggressive. I said what I usually say in my sleep paralysis. I called upon Jesus and I was able to come out of it. In the room, in the yard that we were renting, there are many other rooms of uh, people renting as well. So I wasn't the only tenant. I screamed out loud. And after screaming out loud, I had the person running away and I had my neighbors waking up and rushing to come and help us. When they got to our door, they found a knife stuck on the door and they found a school bag laying on the floor. They opened the, the school bag and they found sharp things, sharp weapons. They found um, knives. They found very dangerous things, scissors as well. And they also found muti. That's what's confusing me. If it's a witch, couldn't the witch just enter without having to open doors and whatnot? But this witch has a knife, has sharp weapons. So I don't know what to make out of this. Does anybody know what could be the problem? That is when I decided to take my daughter for consultation with a sangoma. And when I got there, I was told that I was cursed by my baby daddy's mother. Reason for that is I had a child with a married man. So the grandmother, who happens to be my daughter's grandmother, is punishing me because I almost ruined her son's marriage, which I knew nothing about. That's what I was told. It still hurts today. They have disowned my daughter. They have refused. They have refused profusely to be a part of my daughter's life, and I made peace with all that, and I've let them be. I've never bothered them about anything, but here they are still trying to get at me using my daughter. How can I protect myself from such? The Sangoma asked me to go to the man's house and ask forgiveness from the wife, the grandmother, and the husband. But how do I do that when I too was also played in all this? Why is the grandmother punishing her own blood? This is her blood and flesh. Couldn't she just find another way to deal with this? Please help me. I refuse to go and apologize. At the same time, I fear for my life and that of my daughters.